Hi guys, today I'm going to show you how easy it is to replace your old doorbell with a new video doorbell. I'm replacing our old doorbell with a new Ring Video Doorbell Pro. It comes with almost every tool you need to install the new doorbell. All you really need is a drill. Let me show you how to get started. This Ring Video Doorbell comes with a great install book to help you get through the steps and there is an app, but let me show you how I did it. First, make sure that you turn off the power to your doorbell. Once your power is off, remove the cover from the internal parts of your doorbell. We're going to install the Ring Pro Power Kit, and you want to install that at the terminals that say Front and Transformer. Most of you will probably only have one wire under each of those screws. I have two because I have two different places in my house where you can hear that chime or that doorbell. So there's two doorbells wired into this. I don't want to get those four wires mixed up, so I'm just going to do this one terminal at a time. So I'm starting with the top one. I loosen that screw just enough so that I can get the ring wire underneath it. It doesn't matter which wire it is, they're both exactly the same. So I slip one of those wires underneath that screw, and then I'm going to tighten that back up before I move on to the one right below it. Then I move on to the next one, and again, do the exact same thing. Just loosen that um, screw up a little bit. Slip the ring wire underneath it. Make sure all of the wires that were there already stay where they are, and then tighten it back up and you're ready to go. Then all you need to do is pop that little ring pro power kit, that little box, somewhere into the doorbell where it's not gonna be touching any moving parts, and put your cover back on. And then we're gonna move outside for the rest of the install. So the next step is to remove your existing doorbell. So obviously I've got a really old doorbell installed here. I've got some rusty screws, but after working on them for a little bit, I was able to remove those rusty screws and pull that doorbell off. Now that the doorbell has been removed from the wall, I can disconnect the wires from that doorbell. So again, this is just another set of screws to remove those wires before I can move on to installing the Ring Video Doorbell. So the next step is to pick the brackets that you want to use with your Ring Video Doorbell. I'm going to use the retrofit kit underneath the corner bracket. There's also an option if you don't need the corner bracket, there's an option to have um, an angled bracket that will raise the camera up, point it up, or point it down for you, depending on where your wiring is hanging out of the wall. So I'm marking where I'm going to put my holes, and then I'm going to use the dr my drill and the drill bit that it came with, the kit came with a drill bit, to drill the holes in my masonry. And since this is masonry, I had to use wall anchors. Again, that came with the kit. So after drilling my holes, I just put the wall anchors into the masonry and I was ready to install. Ignore that blue painter's tape here. I was just protecting my wires from a little rain shower that passed by. It is not necessary. So the next step is to put your wires through the brackets that you're using. So since I'm using two, I'm putting my wires through the retrofit kit wire that's on the back and the corner bracket that I need so that the angle of my camera is pointed more towards the center of my porch. This is really the final step to installing your Ring video doorbell, but it can be a little bit awkward, especially if your wires are short like mine are. So you need to really screw in the camera and the bracket that you picked at the same time, but you also have to attach the wires to the back of the video doorbell. So I'll show you how I do that here, but it's a short space to work with and you need to have probably a short screwdriver like I have here. There is one that comes with the kit that works just fine, so don't worry about it if you don't have one. The Ring Doorbell Pro Kit actually comes with wire extenders, so if you do have really short wires and you can't attach them, there is a way to extend the wires. The kit comes with extra wiring and instructions for how to do it. I didn't need to do that here, so all I'm doing is attaching the wires that are coming out of my wall to the back of the video doorbell. So there are screws there, that you need to put the wires underneath. I like to sort of bend the ends of the wires into a C so that I'm getting really good connection across most of the back of that um, area underneath the screws. So that I get that in a C hook shape underneath the screw and then I tighten that screw up. Again, there are two screws on the back of the camera. You should have two wires coming out of your wall. One wire goes underneath each screw. Then tighten those screws up 
And the next step is to install the camera into the wall. So you put your pick a screw that's long enough to go through your camera, your brackets, and into your wall deep enough to have it be a firm, secure grip onto the wall. The anchors that are installed into the wall were about an inch deep, so if you can get that screw to stick into the wall between a half an inch and an inch, that is probably gonna give you the most secure um, install into that wall. So I'm working that screw into the camera and then into the first bracket that it comes across. And then I'm gonna install it into the second bracket and then into the wall. So I'm just doing it slowly to make sure that I line up the screws properly. I get it through the back of the first thing a little bit so that I can see the screw and then I line it up with the hole behind it. That way I don't have to guess at where I'm hitting or whether or not I am installing it properly. After you have your Ring Video Doorbell Pro installed on the wall and you have a firm connection with no gap beneath it or behind it, you are ready to turn your power back on and test your doorbell. After turning back on the power, you install the Ring app onto your phone or iPad and then you go through the process of connecting that doorbell to the app on the phone and to the Wi-Fi in your house. It's really simple, the app is gonna walk you through it. There's nothing about it that I need to show you here. After you have it connected to the app, you can install the face plate and then screw the face plate into place and you are ready to test. So you can see the flashing light around the doorbell button here. That is telling me that it is still setting up, setting up the software that goes along with my app. It's downloading the latest version of this software. This took about 15 minutes and then my doorbell was ready to use. As you can see here, I am using the black faceplate, but this Ring Video Doorbell Pro came with four different colors, I think. So there are lots of options to choose from. Something will match your house, and Ring even sells lots of extra colors for if you want something like a blue or a purple or a red, whatever it is to go with your house. Okay, and that was the default chime you just heard. That's the way it sounds outside of the house. On the inside, it's still gonna be whatever doorbell sound your doorbell was always making before. And if you wanna download different sounds for the exterior of your house, different chimes are available for sale on the Ring app. Thanks for checking out this video, guys, and have a great day.